but they report on all families. And they can show that in the 50s and the 60s, and before that, in the 40s and the 30s and 20s, people could make it in America. There was great, um, there was great opportunity here. We were, in fact, the land of opportunity. But beginning in the late 19, but beginning in the late 1970s, and in the 1980s, that came to an end. In fact, today in America, if you're born poor, you will stay poor. If you're born wealthy, you'll probably remain wealthy. If you're born in between, you're gonna have a life filled with hazards and constant threats and no easy day ever. And that's not the promise of this country. I think we have to restore the American dream and I don't think we can wait 10 years or 15 years or 20 years to do that. I think throughout American history, the notion that we're all in this together is a part of the great legacy of this country. We all rise or we all fall, but we do it together. I think we've taken a narrow, focused, state government budget problem and turned it into statewide economic chaos. And I don't think that's right. I spent my whole adult life running the Merchandise Mart and running trade shows all over North America and around the world. And the idea behind all of that is by bringing everyone together, all of the competitors side by side, that each of them would benefit from a growing marketplace. I believe we're all stronger together than apart. I think you can win. I think I can be a winner without making you a loser. I think I can negotiate. I think I can compromise without surrendering. You know, people, when they talk to me, they say that the state's on the wrong track. The state's on the wrong track. And I agree with that. I agree with that notion. But the analogy is wrong. It's not like there's only one track. We can go anywhere. We can range. We can change the direction. We can bend history, as Martin Luther King said. Let's not think of ourselves as having a limited number of choices, each defined by a track. Let's use our imagination to solve the problems that we have here. Let's go where we need to go. I think the message of this election is the state needs to change. I think if you go anywhere, if you listen to anyone, there's growing despair, there's bewilderment, there's fear, and there's abandonment. People are gonna leave this state even the wealthiest people here who should be the most privileged, who should have it the easiest, know that if their children go away to college, they may never return. And they fear dying alone in a state that's been abandoned by the young people. Oh, I believe in the state. I believe in the city. I believe in its future. I'm staying here. I'm committed. And I believe great things are ahead of us. I think I can fix all of those problems, not me by myself, but by bringing people together. There's not a problem that we face that can't be fixed. We can restore the American dream in this state in a single generation, not for grandkids, but for kids. We can put them on another path. We can save these communities. I believe that we can restore the future of the state. I believe that we can restore the American dream to the people of Illinois in a single generation. If we don't fear new ideas, if we don't fear new people, we can bring change which will fundamentally change the direction of the state for everybody who's here. Before the current administration, we had a balanced budget. Before the current administration, we were paying down the backlogs of outstanding bills. Before the current administration, we were making the current payments on our pension benefits. Our economy was growing, it was growing slowly. But the government wasn't something we all had to worry about. Now, every day, the decisions that are being made in government are interfering with the daily lives of everyone who lives in this state. I came here 30 years ago to join in the fight against hunger in the United States. And eventually I became head of the largest food bank in the United States, the Greater Chicago Food Depository. And I started Top Box Foods with my wife, Sheila, to bring really high quality food to every neighborhood and community in our state. It's not a giveaway program. It's a hand up more than a hand out. I'm running for governor because I think our state is headed in the wrong direction. We need to put people back to work. I have a vision for the future that 
restores the economy, not for 10 years or 20 years or 30 years, but for the next 50 years. I have a vision that puts people to work within the first year, and I have an idea of how to create a fair system that allows everybody an equal chance, if not an equal outcome. People are upset with the status quo. They think the entire system is rigged against them. You know, I moved to Illinois to serve other people, to work in the national uh, anti-hunger fight that was raging in the 1980s and still continues today. I came here to serve. And so I think in a fundamental way, I understand the challenges that people who are on the lowest rung of the economic ladder face in their day-to-day -day lives. And yet I ended up at the Merchandise Mart, one of the great economic engines this state has ever had. And it gave me great insight into how the economy works when it works well for lots of people. I've seen from so many different vantage points the potential of the state, what could happen if everything worked out the way it should, how the unique combination of universities and people and the lakefront and major cities and enormous agricultural assets can be combined. And then I see the failing of the government and this notion that the government is now getting in the way of success. It's hurting us, it's not helping us. And I don't believe that that's how our government should operate. I come from two very different families, on my father's side, the Kennedy family, and on, and on my mother's side, the Skakel family. The Kennedys were always Democrats, and the Skakels were always Republicans. The Kennedys were communal and uh, em embraced the notion that we were all in this together, one of the great traditions in our country. The Skakels, on the other hand, believed in the notion of rugged individualism, and yet in them, Together, they combined in me, I guess, core values. The notion that, that our country is the land of opportunity. It's, I believe in building things up, not in tearing them down. I believe in bringing people together, not in scaring them away. I believe in working with others and not telling them what to do. I believe that compromise is not surrender. I believe that if I win, you can win too. I know this is doable. I know that we can do it. I know how to work with other people. I've made customers out of people who didn't believe in my politics. I've had clients who didn't believe in the Kennedy family's ideology. I didn't think the other fella had to lose for me to win. I can bring people together. And that's what we need right now. We need to bring people together.